This video shows what kind of container, rack or tank can be hooked up to the AgroFost Revolution. The Revolution type of machines can be connected to four bottles on the machine, a rack with five or ten bottles, a container with five or six bottles, an in-ground system with maximum five bottles, a frame with a vertical tank from 320 kg propane, a frame with two tanks from 250 kg, a fixed tank from 500 kg or more, or high volume tanks with vaporizers. Let's start with a container with four or six bottles. The container can be used for the R20 with the low airflow exhaust or the R30 with the high airflow exhaust, not with the R25 with the middle airflow exhaust. You can install four or six bottles in it. The bottles are locked with safety belts, so you can move the container with the bottles inside. No line of the container, so the connection for the heating system is pointing to the machine. This way the airstream from the machine has a minimum time of turbulence when it's passing the bottles. With R20, you need to install the container in the high position, the air, that the machine is blowing out needs to pass under the container. For the R30, you need to install the container as low as possible so the hot air can pass over the bottles. Now connect the bottles to the collector and the pressure regulator. Always keep in mind that gas thread is left hand thread. There are different connections on bottles. What we did for all the connections to gas bottles is fitting in a standard pole connection with the safety valves inside. When you want to connect them to bottles with a shell connection, you need to put a reduction in between. Don't use Loctite or Teflon, just tie them up well. Next, connect the hose coming from the pressure regulator to the machine. With the R20, it's important that the hose between the rack and the machine is fitted well and doesn't get stuck when the machine is rotating. Now check for leaks by using gas leak detector spray. When it's leaking, tie it up accordingly so the leaking stops. Now we connect the heating system between the machine and the container. It's a flexible metal hose from 2 meters. Exhaust gases or the frost guards are used to warm up the bottles, resulting in an optimal evaporation of the propane. How to start up the frost guard revolution is demonstrated in our video number X. Agrofrost, the ultimate form of frost protection.